So if you got the optional hood, you're gonna find in your accessory box, the hood wings, the hood brackets, and then a bag of hardware. So make sure you have everything you need. There should be two wings. And then the number of brackets should show in your install instructions, but anywhere from two to six, depending on the size of your awning, eight on a really large awning. So set those aside for a minute. And you're gonna open up, unpackage your hood here. So you wanna cut the foam loose very carefully. I have the hood flipped upside down to where the bottom is up, which you can tell by the, the grooves in it. Um, so that way, if you do happen to slip up and hit any powder coat, then, then it's not a big deal, but try not to. You can just cut your tape just a little bit here. Cut your tape there. Do the same thing on the other end. And then you should be able to unwrap it. Now that you've opened up your hood, you can also pre-assemble your hood bracket with your T-bolts and your set screw. And then you're gonna slide them into the channels, making sure that this curved lip is the front of your hood. And then this is the front of your bracket, the back of your bracket goes this way. So make sure your positioning is correct. And you slide these in. Just like that, leaving this a little loose for adjustability in a minute. So now you've got your hood brackets in place. You're going to take the screws for your hood wings and align them up here. And usually get one started here. And then you can take your drill or a hand screwdriver and screw that in. Get the first one set. And then you're going to fill in the rest of them. So now that you got your hood assembled, you want to figure out the exact position of your brackets that you've left loose. So you're going to measure your awning to make sure you've got the right space for it here. So normally we like a hood bracket out toward the end on the outside of the shoulder. We don't have that space on this awning. So we're going to go just inside the shoulder because there's a space between our, our awning bracket and then our shoulder. So we're going to go right about here. And that measurement is about seven inches in. So we're gonna take this. And remember your hood's about an inch wider, so you gotta add a half inch for that. So we're gonna go seven and a half inches right here. And that's gonna be your bracket position. And you're gonna tighten it down with a 13 millimeter wrench or socket. Now these brackets are also slotted front to back. Um, in this case, it doesn't really matter because we're going above the wall. Um, I usually just center it on that position and uh, tighten them down there. And you're ready to put it up. So, all right, so now that you've got your brackets tightened up, the next thing you're gonna wanna do before you put it up is check this set screw. Um, you don't want, don't want it protruding below, otherwise you're not gonna get your bracket up and over your torsion bar, so just make sure it's flush right there and you should be good to go. And you're gonna go to take your hood, Lift it up and over. It should sit right down on that torsion bar. Right there. And then you're gonna check your gap left to right. Should be about a half inch each side. And then you should be able to just tighten this nut up. Hand tight and it'll be Right there. And your hood's installed.